Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video, we're going to look at what happens if you have a problem installing one of our USB adapter drivers that are required by all our AIS products that have a USB interface. Now, normally, with um, these uh, products, if you've insert the CD-ROM that comes with them um, before you plug in the USB interface then Windows should automatically uh, scan for the drivers um, as soon as you plug the USB lead in and install the correct drivers from the CD-ROM. However, sometimes this doesn't work for one reason or another uh, particularly we found on Windows XP um, you can end up with uh, the driver not being installed correctly and our AIS uh, products not giving data correctly to the PC. If this happens then you need to go to the device manager which you do by clicking on the start button right click on my computer and go properties then go to the hardware tab click on device manager now the device manager is a list of all the hardware components that make up your PC and they're categorized into sections so you've got for instance keyboards, uh, network adapters, processors you can click on the little plus sign next to it to go further down into the um, category and the one that we're interested in is the universal serial bus controllers category and I'm just going to resize this window so that you can see exactly what uh, is in this list and you'll notice down the bottom is an entry called USB serial converter uh, it's got a yellow exclamation mark next to it indicating that the driver is not installed correctly now depending upon the model of AIS that you have this may be uh, labeled USB uh, RS232 converter uh, USB to UART converter so that it, it, it may have different labels um, but if you're in any doubt basically just disconnect the USB um, lead from the AIS product from your PC and you'll see that the screen redraws and it's disappeared so and I'm just going to plug it back in again now and it will reappear and so that proves that that is our AIS unit um, and we need to now install the correct driver for that so let's double click on it and then we go to driver then we go to update driver. Now the first thing Windows asks you is do you want to go online to check for the driver? Well we don't because we've got the CD-ROM. Um, we know exactly uh, where the driver is, it's on the CD-ROM so we click install from a specific location and then we don't want to search, We're going to what we're going to do is tell Windows the exact folder that it's in so we're going to do that. So we go next, then we have the disk, okay now we're going to browse um, and in fact I'm already in there but what I'm going to do is this would probably come up on your PC um, with my computer and uh, so you just need to go s browse through the computer until you find the digital yacht CD-ROM and then on the CD-ROM you want to go to the folder that says USB driver for AIS units now in here it's looking for this file here ftdibus.inf and there it is look there so we just hit open and that takes us back to the previous screen so we go OK and then next and now you'll see it's quickly uh, installing the driver and that finish now what it's done now it's actually a two stage um, process because it's it's got the USB serial converter is correctly installed but in the second stage of the installation it needs to install the driver for what they call the virtual COM port um, so we're just going to click on that one now and we're going to go driver and update driver and it goes through the same process before so we go no not this time we go install from a specific location and don't search I'll install the driver myself and have disk browse okay so now this time it's looking for ftdibus.inf so we go and that's there so hit open hit OK and then next and there we go it's finishing off the installation so now it's installed that and if we close all those windows and we look at the list we'll see that with the USB serial converters 
not got its yellow exclamation mark anymore and we've now got a new entry USB serial port COM6. Now this COM6 is the uh, number that Windows has allocated for that AIS device so we need to make a note of that um, number. It, it may not be COM6 on your PC, it could be COM5, COM7, whatever Windows has allocated um, your AIS unit to be but you need to make a note of that COM port number because that's what you'll need to set up in your navigation software in the AIS uh, setup page. It'll, it, it, you'll need to tell the software what COM port to look for to actually read the AIS data. So that's that. Um, set that up in your navigation software and you'll suddenly find that you've got AIS data coming in to your navigation software. Well I hope you found the video useful and uh, I'll say goodbye.